Hello and welcome to our next Ask the Doc question series that we have. And today I'm going to answer the question that we get a lot as chiropractors or often any healthcare professional as to, you know, I've heard that once I see a chiropractor, you have to go for the rest of your life. And that is something that sadly keeps people away from seeking help in chiropractic care because they're worried that once they go, all the doc's gonna wanna do is get them to keep coming. Now, I want to reframe, frame this for you just a little bit. As a healthcare professional, we are looking at your best interest. It is a vow that we take when we graduate to always have your best interest in mind. And so I want to explain a little bit on how chiropractic works and why you might find yourself going frequently to see the chiropractor after you've started your care. And it goes into any health um, subject, any health basics that, um, that you're gonna be learning about because once you learn to do better, you want to continue to do better, right? We wanna learn from our mistakes. And so what happens is that our brain that controls our entire being and controls how we work, how my fingers are moving, right? How my heart is pumping, how my lungs are inhaling and exhaling and every single function of my body, whether I'm conscious of it or not, right, is controlled by our brain. Our brain communicates with the rest of our system through the nervous system. It is the only system that we have in our body that is protected by bone because it is so vital to health. Decrease in function in your brain and nervous system will immediately affect your overall health and well-being. And so we want to keep that clear. We want to keep that communication, those neurological synapses that happen between the brain and the rest of your body clear of any interference that might be happening, right? And so in doing so, that's where chiropractic care comes in. Our job is to detect where that interference is happening and clear that through the chiropractic adjustment. That is the tool that we have, the gift that we have in connecting with you and figuring out what's best for you. Now, once we understand this process, there are three things that cause the subluxation or that interference pattern to happen. There are toxins, there are traumas, and there are thoughts, the three T's. And we'll be talking about this in other videos as well. But the thoughts, traumas, and toxins that we are exposed to every day, that we encounter with every day, those can cause interference in our system. And so if we have no toxins, have no, well, toxic thoughts, right? Negative thoughts, patterns, and we have no traumas, well, obviously we don't have to see chiropractic care as often right? But in our society, we do encounter them. So just like, well, I'll eat healthy today. That means I don't have to eat healthy for the rest of my life, right? Well, no, we want to eat healthy as an ongoing basis. Once we learn that a certain food is not good for us and that there are certain foods that are good for us, we want to incorporate those healthy foods into our lives more and more. We understand that exercise is healthy and important and, and I mean necessary, movement is life. We must move our bodies to maintain and continue to be healthy in our lives and to stay in this body, right? We gotta use it or lose it. And so we are going to require movement every single day. We're gonna require exercise or more strenuous activity at least a few times a week, right? So once we know these things, help improve us we want to keep them going if you um so that that is one of the ways that it's going to happen so if we're shifting things in our body we're shifting the spine the way the pattern that was created in your body from whether it be from birth traumas 
or you know just developmental falling and falling off your bike and falling as you're walking or maybe as you got older and you did certain sports or you tripped over a curb or whatever it might be there's other traumas that we go through in life and it creates a pattern in our body if we are going to correct that just like if it were my teeth and they were misaligned does that happen overnight will I put braces on and immediately the next day, it's gone. No, it's a process. It's a shifting process to get them into alignment. Then we have a maintenance program, right? Just to keep our teeth healthy, just to make sure that they stay. We have a retainer that we wear at night maybe to make sure that they stay in place. And so in our chiropractic care, you may see that you have to come more frequently in the beginning if your goal is to correct the problem. If you just want to get out of pain, well, there are less pain receptors in your body, the nerve endings that are actually for pain. There's only like 3% of them that are for pain. Most things, if there is something going wrong in your body, you will not feel it until it gets extreme. And even at that, depending on, on what it is, you may not feel it as well, right? People have kidney failures from years of the kidney starting to decrease in its function. It's not something that happens overnight and you do not feel it until it gets so severe that you start having other symptoms that go along with it. So we want to make sure that, you know, if you're, if you're just getting out of pain, well, that's the, the last thing to arise and the first thing to go. So that maybe only takes a, a few adjustments, right? But if we are wanting to correct a situation, a misalignment, a pattern that has been going on, and we want to create a healthy environment for our body to thrive in and heal in, then we need that consistency, right? We need to create a new pattern and that takes time. But then of course, depending on your situation, depending on how, uh, how um, proactively you remove those traumas, um, those toxins and those negative thought patterns in your life, then you can, your maintenance program is gonna look very different than somebody who doesn't. So the more you are in, touch with what your body needs, the more that you connect with us and see, you know, how can you support your care at home through reducing those toxins, those negative thoughts and traumas, then we can actually move and progress through your care so much faster and so much easier. So that frequency of how often you come in is going to change case by case based on so many different factors, how long it's been going on, what are you doing to support your health? And that's why we love to help coach, not only in the chiropractic care, but also in your wellness care of what you can do at home to empower you in the choices that you have so that you can actually reduce the frequency of care, but maximize your health and um, just do check-in basics, just like I would for any other aspect of my health. We want to be able to check in, make sure that things are going properly, and also in the different research that's been happening, degeneration, right? We, You've heard old age and degeneration, that doesn't have to go together. See, the longer that your body is out of pattern, out of alignment, causing those, you know, the bones to be misaligned, causing that um, friction to happen in a different way. Just again, if your teeth were misaligned, you're going to have more wear and tear in different areas than if they're aligned, right? And so if your body is misaligned, you're going to have more wear and tear. That's where degeneration happens. And so we want to make sure that that's clear and we want to do those check-ins to make sure it's clear so that you get the maximum life um, enjoyment and you know that you can thrive through everything the best that you can. So if you have more questions on this, please let us know. If there's other questions that you have and you wanna ask the doc and see how we can support you and maybe investigate a little bit more how you can help yourself and empower yourself in your health, then please ask us whether it be at the office or in the comments below and we are happy to help. 
We want to empower you to be the best you that you can be. So thank you.